Dawn, the beginning of a new summer day in the Sevillan savanna. Just like every other morning, its inhabitants slowly awaken and prepare for a brand new day. Another day, where once again they have no idea what lies in store. Amongst them, Camouflaged, we find the Kalmyx described for the first time in an article published in 1866 by Dr. Down, whose surname was adopted by the relatively common genetic disorder of which we speak. Specializing in the study of human development, he identified shared characteristics with which he defined the Kalmyx. In his conclusions, the doctor says that they are so similar that it is difficult to differentiate one from another. But we, as a team, know that this is not the case. They are as similar as two stars observed through a telescope. From afar, they seem identical, but once close up, their distinctive colors and brilliance are undisputable. The Kalmyx have a similar effect. Move closer and you'll discover different personalities and characters which shine through. Dr. Down also said in his archaic London Hospital clinical lecture reports, they are humorous and have considerable power of imitation, even bordering on being mimics. This faculty of imitation may be cultivated to a very great extent. A century and a half later, it has been proven that, in effect, the majority are happy and gratified with a contagious cheerfulness. There are problems with the coordination faculty, but it is not so defective that it cannot be greatly strengthened. By systematic training, considerable power may be obtained. Through training, their capacity for personal development is much greater than was anticipated. Who would have imagined that they would see themselves as dancers? capable of emoting and transmitting emotion through movement. They are usually able to speak. The speech is thick and indistinct, but may be improved very greatly by well-directed scheme of tongue gymnastics. And indeed, their tongues are capable of huge amounts of gymnastics, and they use them to speak at times, saying much more interesting things than others do. Their mental and physical capabilities are directly related to the temperature, says the solemn doctor. And he was partly right. They are temperamental, passionate, and require the warmth generosity and affection of others, ultimately giving back much more than they receive, much like the effect of a magnifying mirror. <music> Through training, their capacity for personal development is much greater than was anticipated. It is also clear that they mold themselves the best they can to a life designed by others, overcoming the majority of obstacles and difficulties imposed by day-to-day -day life.
Invisibility is their biggest problem. At times, they are there but are not seen. They disappear from our day-to-day -day lives, enclosed in their own specialist reserves. At the time when Dr. Down first described them, it was believed that races were not varieties of the same species. He, with the scant knowledge of his time, wanted to demonstrate that the traits of other races could appear across all mankind, including those associated with the Mongols. It's as though he was trying to suggest that all men are of one man, only dressed differently. As it was later proved, he was wrong, but only in part, because in spite of the characteristics which differentiate them from us, and the fact that they also have nothing to do with Mongolia, our origin is in the fact the same, mankind, and their variety enriches us. Our mission is to learn to coexist, This would help society to evolve, enriching us as a people and allowing us to regain part of our lost humanity for them and for ourselves. <laughs>